Hey good people, it's Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya and today we've got a beautiful Evans VE80 uh, Echo, Vocal Echo Machine. Turned it on here and uh, at this stage you just play it through it. This is an amp and an echo machine together and uh, so now we'll throw on the echo. Beautiful machine. Uh, a little bit of a speed control here. Uh, we've got swell. Let's do a little mic check here. Mic, mic check, check. Mic, mic, mic. Swell. 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 back those off a little bit and then we've got uh, just echo which doesn't repeat it's just an echo and uh, at this stage these controls don't do anything for you it's just an echo Uh, high low on the mic so uh, you know depending if you're on a microphone or a uh, instrument input you can adjust those there isn't much in the way of negatives on this uh, except check check great machine. The only negative with this is that the UV, uh, VU meter doesn't seem to be working on it. And I open it up, uh, there's no light, which I thought uh, the VU meter would light up as well, but there is no light behind it even. Uh, and it doesn't seem to work. So I give a little shake and there's movement in it and it seems to be attached, but uh, for whatever reason, it, there's just no, there's no movement in the VU meter. Uh, so that's about the only negative. And, and again, I think it would appear that it should light up, however, there's no bulb anywhere to be found in it. So apparently it, it doesn't light up. It doesn't anyway on this one. So uh, there we have it. I'll get you some close-up pictures of it and uh, you can check it out a little bit more in detail. I replaced the tape on it. Uh, this tape's got about two hours on it maybe. I'll include the original tape with it. Uh, but all, all in all, it's in really good condition and uh, I'll come right back and we'll show you some close-up pictures of it. You can check it out. Okay, we'll try to give you a close-up view here. Unfortunately, it's getting a little bit dark here in Nagoya, Japan at the moment, so the lighting situation is not the best. I apologize for that. Uh, cover's in really good shape. The plexiglass, uh, as you can see, is, is real nice. There's a little bit of scratching in it here and there, but uh, all in all, considering its age, I think it's in great shape. Uh, hinges are in good shape. So let's take a look inside, and uh, let me turn this on. And you can see the tape moving. This is glass, a real thick glass. A lot of times that's plexi in these units, uh, Rollins, etc. That's nice glass. Difficult to see, but that's uh, there. You can see it a red see through plastic pinch roller. Turn that echo off for just a second. Uh, there's our slider to adjust the, uh, the, the length of the echo. This is a unique little way to close that rear door back there you can see that and uh, a lot of times those things are missing but that's there with its little chain so a real solid original unit 
all the way around and uh, here we can take a closer look I left the mic hooked up I took the guitar out two mic inputs for each channel and again there's a high low switch for each channel uh, everything's quiet and nice on it uh, let's just hit that mic again real quick Stand for a little bit here. Check, 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 Swell, 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 swell. So you can see everything's working good on it. Other than the VU meter, like I talked about, I don't know if it ever had a light, to be honest. Um, but everything else is in good working order. Thanks for looking.